Hi guys, welcome to Early Years Matters TV. On this channel, we focus on everything early childhood related. If these are the kind of things you're looking for, what you have to do, subscribe and not just subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so that whenever a new video is being dropped on this channel, you'll be the first person to be notified. Today, I'm going to be talking about Vygotsky's Zone of Proximal Development. Yes, today's discussion is going to be all about Vygotsky's Zone of Proximal Development. Are you an early childhood educator or parent? This is a video not to be missed. Ensure that you watch it to the end. So Vygotsky's Zone of Proximal Development simply means the space between what a child can do on their own and what a child can do with the support from others such as the adult, which is the parent and the early child educator, and also the child's peers as well. This is so simple. This is what the zone of proximal development is all about. It's all about the space between what a child can do on their own and also what the child can do with the support from others, like I said earlier, which is the educator, the parent, and the child's peers. In addition to zone of proximal development, Educators, parents, it's really important that you know what the child is capable of doing. This is where observation comes in. When you observe the children, you'll be able to find out about their strengths. This is what they are capable of doing. And you'll be able to find out about their needs. And then in return, you'll be able to support them. This is what Vygotsky's Zone of Proximal Development is all about. So you, the adult, whether you're the parent or the early childhood educator, see yourself as a facilitator of the children's learning and development. Like Vygotsky said, and you need to understand, in relation to Vygotsky, it's not all about doing things for the children. Because sometimes people think, okay, when the children are struggling, yes, I can always help them do things for them. No, Vygotsky is talking about supporting children. It's all about the level of assistance, the support that you give to the children in relation to their learning and development. So it doesn't mean you have to do things for them. Your role is just to prompt them. It could be prompting sometimes, just encouraging them. I'll cite an example. For instance, if you have a child struggling with fixing a puzzle, solving a puzzle, so you could do what there, you could just point to the child. Maybe the child is struggling with a piece of puzzle. So you could just point or direct the child to say, okay, why don't you try to put the puzzle there? Not you doing it for the child, not just saying, Tony, don't worry, I'll put the puzzle, I'll sort it out for you. That's not what zone of proximal development is all about. It's all about you assisting the children, supporting them to meet their developmental milestone, supporting the children in relation to learning and development. So this is what Vygotsky zone of proximal development is all about. And sometimes you, the adult, you don't even need to do too much. Vygotsky is also on about the supporting themselves, yes. So if you have a child struggling, for instance, with solving a puzzle, and you know a child that can solve the puzzle, so you could ask the child to watch the other child. You can say, okay, Johnny, why don't you watch Florence solve the puzzle? Look at what Florence is doing. So you can see that he is watching Florence. In the long run, this is going to help Johnny to solve the puzzle. For instance, if you also have children that have speech delay in your classroom, you cook them with other children, and they'll be able to pick words from them. For instance, you could also have children that are shy, they want to just be on their own, they don't want to talk to people. So you could initiate circle time, activities that will bring the child in contact with other children. So can you see that this is going to help the child in terms of their social development, they'll be able to express themselves. So this is what Vygotsky's zone of development is all about. It's all about what the child can do on their own and what the child can also do with the level of support from the adult of parents, the elder child educator, and also the child's peers as well. So educators, parents, I hope you've taken note of Vygotsky's zone of proximal development in relation to promoting learning and development in early childhood. And if you want more of them on this channel, what you have to do subscribe. And not just subscribe, turn on that notification bell so that whenever a new video is being dropped on this channel, you'll be the first person to be notified. And also on this channel, I have a join button, which is the blue icon. You might be wondering, or you've been seeing this join button, you might be wondering, what is this join button all about? It's relation to supporting me in what I do on this channel. And there's one membership pair called Early Years Mentorship. An imagined early childhood educator. Are you an early childhood educator working in the field already? Or you're a preschool owner? You're looking for a support. You're looking for someone to go on this journey with you. You need to understand that Rome wasn't built in a day. So check this membership pack out. It's called Early Years Mentorship. And I'll be able to mentor and support you on this journey of early childhood education. Until I come your way next time, stay safe and mind yourselves for now. Bye.